What's up? This is H E News here. So, sorry for not being around for a while. Three days. I actually had a tornado in our area. So, if you don't know, I currently live in Decoin, and there were at least two in this location. On um, that was actually Tuesday, about 9:36 p.m. The thing is. The very scary thing is that tornado funnels were there already when the alarms went off. So basically, we had no warning. We just had to fire it off, and they were already there. The storm was ready to produce a couple of tornadoes. And luckily, the one I was out in my parents' house, there was one in the fairgrounds. That's the closest to me at my parents' house that luckily... Did not form it. Went around or went over us. One did start in Chester, Illinois. And went directly to Tamaroa. Which is like. It's a little bit away from here. It's actually north up here. Where I'm currently at right now. It's like 15-20 minutes to get out there. And now I think that part of the U.S. I looked. It's got a tornado watch. I'm seeing... About all of it yet, but for right now we're in the clear. We knew that we're gonna be. We, I knew there was gonna be a risk, and I never thought this actually, this storm system would actually produce at least a couple of tornadoes. If I heard correctly, and I just you know looked today and the other day, Tuesday's tornadoes were up to 30 in the U.S. It was serious. So yeah, it lasts until 10. It what the tornado watch was to end at 10 but it was extended to 3 a.m and luckily nothing else happened after 10 at night so thankfully to the lord that nothing else got in the way you know the coin didn't get any damage there's no damage anywhere so don't worry everything was what it's like it is like it was before this storm hit technically no damage so Besides closer to Timbro, that's where it really hit and touched down. So it's that's the one that worked, and I haven't. I've been trying to get information about that one, but haven't got it yet. So it's kind of unknown at the current right now. I just we don't know. But I know I went up north, and I actually looked this morning, and there was a tornado closer to Vigens, which is like. 15 20 minutes, but it's a little bit closer than that. It was like on the edge of the state of our state, the very right bottom part. It did have a tornado warning this morning that it had no watches for tornadoes, and it just happened. Luckily, it didn't last as long, it didn't spread anywhere, so it was a really weak chance, you know. I'll take it compared to having a real bad storm like this one, or, or even worse, where it actually touches down. So yeah, the coin's been lucky. Oh, I thought I almost heard a siren go off. You know, I've been hearing these kind of alerts in my ears yesterday. That's how bad my anxiety is. When I hear these things go off, I don't usually like it. And I would have heard it here for sure because I never thought. I knew there was a chance, but then I looked. There's a couple tornadoes, like one or two formed right by Missouri, right, right on the edge of the state and I think St. Louis had like three tornadoes that day so there was a lot going through that system was really good because it kept getting me this but not like that but like this for the tornado warning but then the last one was this one right here and that's when it was actually in our area prior to actually this alert so technically we had no leeway in to get prepared for this kind of storm because it was too late so you know we need they need to work on this they usually send trucks over in certain locations they got like weather equipment if you're if you're in the u.s or any other country they have these where it measures the wind speed as well as they got radar in certain areas of the u.s that monitor all this weather in the atmosphere in the high air demand area to make sure that there's no chance and if there's any they'll let us know by these right here just alert is a warning telling you that it's there 
But a watch is basically telling you that there's a possibility this could happen in your location that you could have this bad weather event unfold and there was a lot of places destroyed. St. Louis had a lot of damage I heard. A very lot amount. I don't I don't I haven't seen all of it, but there were apartments, three were dead down south of here, so thankfully we're taken care of, you know, I prayed beforehand anyway. I made sure I called the Lord out before even this would occur anyway, as I, as I always do prior to this kind of severe weather outbreak that the U.S. is going through right now. And there's a, another watch. I'll watch it tonight because <laughs> at least it's not in this area and it's far away from us because we close up the nursery but not near to this. Luckily again, so that lightning was real bad Tuesday night. I was the only one working cars, so I had to really hurry the last 30 minutes to actually get back there because I got off at 8. You know, I was getting all the cars back to there on the other end of the side of the pavement. That was tired a lot, so no cars should be blowing out during this kind of crazy weather at night because winds get bad and we're under a wind advisory apparently. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like in below. And make sure you push that bell notification button at the bottom of the YouTube video. So you get notified every time I release a video of any. So you won't miss nothing. Because trust me, sometimes it'll be worth watching my videos. Sometimes I have to work, but you know, I try my best. The Mac had to update over 2 gigabytes for, you know fixing some issues with the OS and I did get that card I don't think no one watched it yet but the Bluebird um, American Express it's been fine I'm gonna put another hundred once I get paid Thursday and so on every two weeks pay that into it the only thing is there will be a fee every time I take out cash so which is nothing because I use a credit card and technically we got autism and you have this kind of compulsion. Money is not always the best thing in the account because I freak out a lot about it. But having my credit card there and knowing the balance is a lot easier for me with this disorder and whatever else I have currently that we don't technically know of. But, you know, it's how it is. So I filled a couple of medicines the last 24 hours, the last couple of days, so... I'm good for a couple more days, for like a week or, you know, a month or more, or 90 days, 30 days, I mean. But some of the scripts are over 90 days, right, 90 days total of medicine, you know. And, you know, it goes to your local Walmart if you have a smartphone. But you don't even need one, probably. You may want one because if I have my medicine, I can actually, the cool thing is I can actually order my medicine that I have that I technically need. And then pick it up at Walmart whenever they say just at home or anywhere else. There's a Walmart basically nearby. So wherever you send it to, they get they have the script on hand. There's at least one medicine that's concerted that they don't carry because it's a controlled system substance. So I had to give it every month or so. You know, wait maybe two or three hours depending because. Uh, without insurance, it'd be like three hundred plus dollars for one of those thirty-day amount of pills, and that, that's a lot, you know. I just take two of them, which is around six and a half hundred dollars, like six hundred half dollars or more back in the day when I was on seventy milligrams the max dose, because they had only they didn't have the max dose in one pill, so I had to split both of them together to take. The 50 or wherever it is, and then the extra 15, which is, <laughs> if you guess that, another 300 plus dollars. That luckily I have insurance, and right now it's free until next year because I met my health has to be paid off the the the, uh, the deductible. I'm sorry, I'm trying to speak correctly. Every insurance has the deductible that you have to reach before it covers anything. And mine is like two thousand seven or something. I think it's a little over fifteen hundred, but I picked the best plan. Of course, it's most expensive, but it's worth it because it well saved us over fifty thousand dollars in medical. Probably that technique was not my fault. So 
nothing actually caused it. It just happened on its own, and the whole medical bill was covered by Aetna. You know, I give thanks to them because they covered the, the whole entire bill. Everything they did, all the testing, the imaging, like the CAT scan to make sure I had no bacteria in the jaw, and they ended up finding blood, so they treated me for that. <sighs> for the hemophilia where they inject medicine, and don't worry, it's it's treatable, but it isn't curable at the, cur at the current state of our technology. It's pretty much right now an uncurable disease that I'm stuck with, you know, since 10 months of age, and there'd be times where I have worse months. And it'd be times where the hemophilia, the hemophilia is really controlled, like really good. And then just praying out bad. And I did have severe bleeds in the past just because of injuries. So moderate to mild and the phone's going off. That's YouTube. <laughs> I got at least 20 of those a day or so. You know, because I actually subscribe to a lot of YouTubers. You know, I have a bell notification on as well, so I get a lot of these. So yeah, we made it fine. Went back home in the morning. Mom took me over to the house and I got ready for a long eight hour shift or whatever, but yeah. So yeah, I'm good at least. And now you can get a free deposit direct, which I don't need because I got on my own card. But with mine I don't get fees for taking out cash, so I can do that every time I get paid. If you're at any other store than Walmart, it's a three dollar and 95 cent fee for Walgreens and the rest of them. C C V S pharmacy is like the same thing. Dollar General, Walgreens, Gal um, Walgreens, whatever else. And you got free debit card transfers, so you can link your debit card to your blue bar card, which I probably won't do because I don't need it. So you can capture a check, which I knew already before I got the card. I researched it on the, what it came with had you know information on the thing when I bought it so you can actually take a picture with the app and then wherever check it is token on you when you take that picture of that own check that you need a cash whether it's birthday gift or anything else you gotta wait 10 days if you don't want a fee and checks are, ne are never unpaid Never return unpaid, as it says, not return unpaid. So, there is a fee within minutes, I'm afraid. But, yeah, there are things there's security and all that. There's also ability, and this has no monthly fees of any type besides the cash and the transfers, you know, of the money basically in cash out. They have certain fees, you know. If I could actually, yeah, I might actually put another video up to with this. I think I had the paperwork somewhere, but you know how it is. So no in fees, as they say. So yeah, it's nice. I mean, to have this and just it's not a chip card reader, so it's not one of those chip based cards. I mean. So there's a downside of that, but it's still safe. I did create the same pen. I need to change it to another pen, but they wrote it down, so I don't mind about it. Keep it the same so they don't mess up. So yeah, it took a lease. I ordered it the week before last, this past Saturday, like that Thursday, when I bought it, and actually took until Saturday, and I just finally got it Saturday, so it was actually a week before that. So it was like 10 days maybe from the most to get that card and then, you know, get the parents to say it's alright. I guess, you know, they didn't technically like it, but explain to them, well, I can't check my balance. It's a, it's a thing that, but I actually lost my card because of that because I left it in the machine or something. And, well, before you know it, uh, the card's missing and never could find it. So I'm on problem thinking someone says he stole it. But luckily, they were not able to access the money part of it. And it never froze or anything like that. I was still able to use Walmart Pay with the card, you know. So basically, yeah. Uh, that one took 
from that Thursday to that next Friday, and I activated and all that. It's the same chip card. It's just thinner now. It's newer technology. So, but mine, I can use the Walmart Pay card I get. I have. It's got kind of kind of Star Wars. You can actually take it different countries and use it. But I think there's a fee for that, maybe. But because a lot of credit cards and things like this do have fees of some type. You know, there was another one. A lot of those Walmart, you know, with the one percent back, they got like eight dollar fee each month or nine dollar fee right there because I research it all the time. Go ahead, well, I go at Walmart and look on my breaks or whatever for my lunch or day off. Yeah, they got fees except for this one. It's not as much, but it still has a little fees, but it's nothing to really worry about. It's good. So thanks for watching. I mean, you need to channel. It. Thanks. Uh, I know it's just. I can say you call this as a blooper, basically. And I've been eating uh, beans, I think, before. Was it Tuesday? I was passing gas like crazy. You know, had chili this morning. I didn't need that. <laughs> Ate that, cooked that up. And the two burritos, that was like Monday. I'm like, oh my god. I got a lot of gas, like, for at least five hours of it. Or four hours, so it. Yeah, I tell you one time, this was this year, this was this year, by the way, it was like close to my birthday. The weekend, um, I was off, it was, I was off, of course, but after the party was all done, and I had some cake. Well, the stomach didn't agree, and man, did I rip, let it rip, and man, it had a bad odor. Whew. I haven't had that since early March, so luckily, I, my gas can kind of get like that at times, and... Sometimes I get so gassy that my stomach hurts for like four hours at night. So literally, I had to force it all out, which is kind of gross and really, you know, not pleasant. Luckily, I'm by myself, so it's not too bad of an issue. But, you know, that's how it was in the past. You know, I'm gassy like my mom's family. If you give me soda within like 4 p.m. in the afternoon, it's going to cause a lot of gas as right now. So, yeah. <laughs> be aware <laughs> some people are gassy you know i surely am so they usually they don't like me they should try to stay away from beans <laughs> <laughs> you know i i buy that a lot so <laughs> it was a big can so so yeah the walmart cheap hickory nice flavored baked beans and oh lord mercy <laughs> my sister was bad at that I think she's on medicine for that right now. I, I technically can't get, you know, low care. I guess I got disease from my blood stem, but I would have to have medicine in order to have the, the work done to be checked if it's eternally, if I had to go, if they, if they had to go up inside, you know, because I usually bleed and I had to have factor for that, so. I never got tested for um, irritable bowel. It required having, you know, some colonoscopy type, and that's less than two years away for me having to have it done because I'm almost 30 and I'm going to have to have it checked because the family's got cancer on both sides of the family and I need to make sure I keep myself free from cancer and you know other things like that and you know it happens you know I know my parents are probably me eventually do and I know you gotta drink that nasty uh drink and then fast for like a day or two so yeah it's it won't be a nice feeling in a couple of years but i'm going to have to have it done somehow so yeah <laughs> and you can't even eat nothing i heard so yeah yeah empty your stomach out like Ugh. Ugh, those farts will be bad during that time trust me yes when i don't eat that's where the gas can come to after a while, my my body starts producing gas. Like, okay, uh, it's time time to take this somewhere else and let it rip. Because <laughs> usually, yeah, my workers say stay away from me. <laughs> so yeah, the more beans you eat, the more you do basically some magical kind of vegetable you call it. So yeah, thanks for watching.